Hey everyone, we're going to keep going on warehouse management. We actually got a really nice comment about bin content. So thanks for commenting. Please, if you see something uh, that I'm doing and is missing a little notation or if I'm doing it incorrectly, please let me know. Uh, but the bin content comment was very good. So thanks for that. I think it was Stefan. Um, so I'm going to actually get into that a little bit. Um, just to explain it a little better, when we have bins in the system, we, we can set up bins and I have storage and storage two. And this one is a floating and this one is fixed. Actually, I might have it the other way around, but I hope you get the point. So for each one of these bins, um, the system will create a bin content. So there is going to be here something called bin content. We'll just call it bin C for storage and for storage two. Uh, so for floating bins, the bin content here, this one, only exists if there is something in the bin, otherwise it doesn't exist. So, and w the minute that the bin becomes empty, the bin content disappears. The bin doesn't disappear, the bin exists, but the bin content disappears. So the bin content is a sub record of the bin that specifies how much is in it, what item, you know, etc. for that bin. It also has features like whether it's fixed or not. Now, for a fixed bin, this particular bin exists, or bin content always exists. So it's always gonna be in your list of bin contents. So if you look at bin contents in the screen, and you'll be like, hey, what happened to all these bins that I have? It's only gonna show the bins that are fixed or floating and have something in them. Otherwise, it's not gonna show that. So also what I'm going to do is uh, in, when we go into the application, I'm going to show you how to actually move uh, things between bins using a movement worksheet. Uh, just creates a movement activity and you register that. So and we're going to test out how to move between them and actually wash out the floating bin and see the floating bin disappear uh, and just see it in effect. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, first of all, we go into bin content. Uh, and this screen basically lists the bin contents in the system. So as we talked about on the blackboard or the whiteboard, um, we're gonna have bin contents listed always when they're fixed, uh, but sometimes when they're not fixed and, and those times are only going to be if there's anything in that bin if there's nothing in that bin that's a floating bin so not fixed it will disappear from the bin contents list so you won't see it in your bin contents so the floating bins will just show up when there is something put into them uh, otherwise they will not show up on the screen so if you have racks that are in place uh, and you want to have them listed here even if they have nothing in it uh, I would set it up as fixed so so you can actually see it so we're going to demonstrate this by actually doing a movement and at the same time show you how we do movements um, so if we go out here and go into the movement worksheet so the movement worksheet will allow you to initiate a move of items or whatever um, so I can here uh, select the item uh, from a zone from a bin so what I'm gonna do is actually move everything out of the storage which is a floating bin into the fixed and the theory is that the storage one will disappear because it's a floating bin uh, from a bin content so let's take everything from that and put it into storage two. We had 140. And so here we just go ahead and say, uh, create movement. And that we can assign it to a particular user. 
and just hit OK, and that creates a movement activity. Uh, and then the user should be going into his activities to create the movement. I'm just going to go straight in here, warehouse movements. Uh, check that out. So it's very similar to the put away where you have a take place. And we're taking 140 out of storage bin, uh, storage one or storage nothing into storage two. So I just register this movement. Now that's done. Now let me go ahead and take a look at my mid contents. So look at that. The floating bin disappears and everything gets put into the fixed bin. So makes sense.